G'day guys, and welcome to the Vemitrader Getting Started series. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about the dashboard, which is essentially like Vemma's home page. This is the page that you'll be first be sent to when you log into Vemma, and it's also the page that you'll be sent to when you submit trade setups, you will come back to the dashboard. So, there are two parts to the dashboard. There is the Realize p by Close Date graph, and there is the Your Trade section. So the Realize p by Close Date, hopefully simple enough, it shows you your p over a certain period of time. Now there are a couple of things you can do with this. So you can actually filter this by live or by paper, or you can have it show all of your trades. You can also change the date range. So you can see I'm currently looking at this month, but I could also select say this week, which shows me from Monday. I could select the last 24 hours, I could select the last 12 months, or I could put in a custom date range. So if I wanted to see you know, Friday to Friday, I can just click here, click there, and that will only show me the trades that I've taken within those dates, the trades that have exited within that dates. Now, an important thing to realize with the date range filter is it also affects your trades. So your trades is the second section. Now, I'm just going to set this back to the current month, so this month. Your trades is trades that you still have to take some form of action on, and I'll explain what that means in a second. There's a few things that your trades shows you. So first off, you have the symbol. So which symbol are you trading on? It also shows the exchange just with this logo. So you can see these are OKX trades, that's a BitMEX trade, and these two are after prime trades. Then it shows you the strategy that you use to enter this setup. So you can see that I've got a couple of different strategies here. And it also shows you whether it was paper or live with this little paper symbol. Next up, we have the interval, then the direction, then the status. So status is an important one. So you can see that I have an open position here I've got a closed position on that second trade. Now monitoring, blue, means that this is a setup that I've created that hasn't yet entered. Editing means that I've created this setup, it hasn't entered, I've decided to edit this trade, and I haven't yet submitted that trade. So currently, this trade is not ever going to enter until I submit it back to monitoring. It kind of sits out on the side, because I'm saying to them, hey, I want to change some things on this trade, so it's paused the monitoring of that trade for me. And finally, I have another closed trade. So the next section is probably my favorite part of the dashboard, and that is what we call the risk to reward indicator. So it shows you a couple of things in one, which is why I really like it. So first off, it shows you the status of the trade. So I can tell without even looking at this status that these trades are monitoring because they're blue. I can tell that this trade has closed out, and I can tell that because the, uh, the risk section, right? So if you look at this first trade, that red section, that risk section on this second trade is now gray. The reward section is filled in green to a certain extent, right? And what that's telling me with one glance is, okay, on this trade, price went and hit some of my take profits. Overall, I closed out in the green, right? I got a 0.43 to one risk to reward, which I can find out by hovering over it. So what's happened here is it's hit two of my take profits and it's come back and hit my stop loss. I can tell I move my stop loss to be much less of a loss because I've got that little stop loss symbol there. So you'll notice that none of my other trades have that. That means that I did not or have not moved my stop loss on any of those positions. But on this one, I did move my stop loss up. I hit my first two take profits, came back and got stopped out for a little bit of my position and ended up at a 0 0.43 to one risk to reward. This trade down here shows me that I decided to manually close my trade. So I can tell it's a closed trade again because the reward section is now gray because it was a losing trade. And then the risk section is highlighted red to the extent that it was a loss, like a realized loss. And then the sort of lighter red shows me this is actually where I set my stop loss. So my stop loss was much further away. I took a look at that trade. I went, oh, this is not doing what I wanted it to do. And I closed out that trade manually. Now the cool thing about the risk and the reward sections is that they actually show you your risk to reward. So if I look at this trade, I can see, okay, the risk section, this dark blue section, is probably about, let's say, one sixth. So I know that that is probably a five to one or a six to one trade that I have set up. On my live trade, it's not doing it for me. I don't know if you guys saw that before, but as it goes, uh, it's basically sitting on my entry right now. And I know that price is sitting on my entry because none of the risk or the reward sections are colored in. As the trade progresses, it's almost like a progress bar. As the trade progresses, you will see this color start to take it. There we go, we got a little bit of green there, right? And the same will happen if price goes towards your stop loss, you will start to see this red section fill in in a bolder, brighter red like this. So 
Without even having to go and look at your trades individually, these pills show you exactly what has happened or is happening in the current state of your trades. Now, as I said before, this won't show me all my trades that did exit from the 1st of June to the 9th of June, because once a trade has played out, you review your trade. So if I come here and click Mark Reviewed, that trade disappears from my dashboard because essentially reviewing is saying, hey, I'm completely done with this trade. I can come back and look at it in the Analyze section, which I'll talk to you guys about in another video, and it will be recorded in all of my analyzed data. So when I analyze things, that trade will be counted. But you're essentially saying, okay, this trade has now played out. I've taken any notes that I needed to take, and now I am done with this trade, so it moves away from the Your Trades section.